Alrighty, this is a quick overview on installing uh, drum brakes on a 73 duster. First thing you gotta do is work on getting these two springs off. You need to have that type of tool. You can either use this end to go around, get it off, or you could just go like crazy with this end or something else, just pry it off. You wanna have like all new stuff also, new springs, new retainers, um, a new adjuster kit, preferably. So, after that's happened, you can work on getting some vice grips, gently pushing on that, push the spring back, and then twist, gently pull it out. And this will just turn it so that lines up with that portion, and let the spring come off. Do it on both sides, <clears throat> and, uh, Pretty much start getting everything else off. This is your e-brake shoe brace that goes between each shoe. And then you got your lever down here that hooks up to the back side of the shoe. So once you get all that off, get your new shoes and undo that old shoe clip, uh, e-brake clip, and they should provide a new one like I have on here and just slap that on the new one and make sure you compare the new versus old so you have it all set up right it all looks correct and uh, just slide it on there and get some vice grips or something just to kind of like squeeze that on there so it's tight and then you gotta pull back I don't know if you can really see it well you have to pull back on the spring of the e-brake cable so you could get it to slide onto this lever right here. Then you can get it on there and get your new retainers. Get them on there. You want to make sure also, I don't know if I can, yeah. You want to use this portion right here. One of those little clip things on the back side, just like how it was when you took it off with the other stuff. And then just push that through and then get your vice grips again with this along with the vice grips and just gently push that on twist it so it locks it in place on both shoes and get your center e-brake deal brace in there then work on getting this spring in there's supposed to be a smaller one you use like this one and it's supposed to go right there but for some reason they have that all hogged out from the aftermarket shoe factory. I have absolutely no idea why it doesn't make any sense. So what I had to do was just use my old spring that was off of this other side and hopefully it's gonna work out. And you get that on there. Before you get it on here, you wanna make sure you have your little adjust your cable deal on there first. It doesn't really matter, but that's just the way I do it. Have the sinker point on, have that on there. Then get this on. Springs on, you just use this thing, gets right on there. And then you want to have this little portion on first, along with uh, starting your other spring. Get that on there, then you can get your cable wrapped around and then move it down here. You want to have your new spring put on first on this little tab. DL is poking out. Sorry, I don't know the name of all this stuff, but. And then you got to get this portion on, and then bring this around so it'll hook it down, and have your adjuster star wheel in the middle back all the way off. And uh, before you do all that, make sure you have this little spring in. And then after that's in, all you have to do is work on wrapping this around, and all you have to do is just like lift up really high so it gets to its highest point so you can slide that right on there and hopefully all this is gonna work out just fine also got my new uh, brake wheel cylinder in there I'm gonna replace these lines also because I couldn't get them off I was prepared this time so um, we'll work on that uh, when you get your new wheel cylinder and make sure you have these little things 
put in there that will go on your shoes are like little extenders for the 10 inch drums but they won't be there for the 9 inch drums and then when you do the other side everything is going to be exactly mirrored so make sure you take pictures like here 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 and just use that as a reference and everything will work out smoothly and also if you got to replace a lug all you have to do is just get a hammer smack that out and get the new one and you can even put the new one on with all this on just fine you just have to get in this happy spot and uh, make sure you get a Mopar specific one because I just got these ones over here from some company on eBay and they don't work because this portion that kind of mates to the surface of the axle flange or whatever they call it does not work see this one's a lot bigger versus that one so I'm gonna have to get some more might just end up replacing all of them so anyways that's how it's done